either you're a data analyst data scientist data engineer machine learning engineer or whatsoever your role is in the data space microsoft fabric is something you should get familiar with so what exactly is fabric there are a lot of content and resources out there that defines what fabric is but i'll be doing my own differently i'll be showing you the problem fabric is trying to solve and how fabric is approaching this and once you understand this you gaining that understanding will literally help you to embrace this platform get to learn about it and also leverage it for your career growth because it's going to unlock a lot of things uh, possibilities and growth for you in your career all right let's dive in and let me explain to you what fabric is it is no longer news that we live in a world of data 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 everywhere as a matter of fact it's been said that we live in a world that is awash with data meaning data is just everywhere and organizations are now focusing on how can we get value from this data and that's the, where the challenge is the generative ai the large language model shows us how valuable data is to enable the next level of possibilities in artificial intelligence so however we also realize that ai is as good as your data if your data structure is not well is your data architecture and infrastructure are not well set you cannot get as much value as you would from that data in fact it can even mis mislead your business so how do we address this so you have to embark on data architecture project from my past experience working on the architecture project we will have to use several services and this i like this when it was shown during the Microsoft fabric announcement these are the services to d services you know that people use whenever you're working on this aspect of data architecture you want to bring your data together put the infrastructure together so that you can get more value from your data you have to be ready to work across all the spectrum use different services and this in the same is even creating services in silos in many instances because many at times they are all not on the same platform one number two they are different services so and you need a project to execute this whenever your organization is trying to do this you are creating your data lake you are creating your data warehouse creating you know analytics workload and all those things you use different services for them and it has to be a project which will incur cost one number two time it takes lo longer time uh three there are even chances that you know uh it, it could even be abandoned or you know not well done as a matter of fact it actually costs a lot beyond the explicit cost that we've just mentioned it costs a lot for the business so it's a huge pain point you know many of those projects actually failed is a huge pain point on the neck of chief data officer to govern your data to do all those things you also need you know more integration of services and that is why chief data officer will keep saying this i am the chief data officer and i don't want to be the chief integration officer because what they end up doing in that role is to start integrating data together using different services just to put the data in the right format before they start you know deriving value and that takes a lot of time and it will be difficult for them to prove their worth in giving value from data because they were busy investing days hours weeks even years to integrate data so it's a real pain point if organizations today have not been able to derive much value check do you actually have a data architecture do you have a data lake do you have a data warehouse if you don't have those things it might limit how you will scale the value you are getting from data so you will have to go back if you have not gone back to that phase of you know doing your data integration you will, uh, if you have not gotten there you might not understand it but if you are there you will know the pain you know that organizations are facing and the challenges many of them even fail as a project so the, the challenge is clear for you to get the value from your data for organizations to get that value from their data which they're looking for now to create a competitive advantage for you to get that value you need to really go through the integration phase and that is pain cost a lot and at times might even be abandoned or even might not be delivered you know to solve the problem that you're expecting it to solve and that is where Microsoft fabric actually comes in because fabric is a software as a service solution and it is built on top of power bi and azure data lake storage so we also include all the capabilities from azure synapse as you can see right there azure synapse you know analytics azure data factory data bricks um, machine learning and all this and what makes fabric unique is that it brings these capabilities together in a software as a service solution so all those integration pain points that we talked about you don't have to go through that 
here. On a single platform, that one lake architecture is what is delivering this. So all your data are just connected through the one lake. And from there, you can then do everything. You don't even have to bother. You don't have to take that long amount of days, you know, months to start, you know, looking for vendor and services that will do your integration and do all those things for you and pay. You just have to leverage the one lake architecture, which will bring all of them together as your data lake. And from there, you can start to work on that single copy of data. So data actually stored. Now, uh, let me use this to talk about the one lake because it's really awesome. One lake is the one drive for data. Just where we have one drive in Microsoft 365 that you can store video, audio, a lot of things, files that you're using, you know, for your day-to-day -day activity. So also is one lake, but it's for data. And so all your data are there. You know, uh, it provides data lake as a service. And the advantage of software as a service solutions is that it takes care of every nitty gritty that goes into the infrastructure, the workloads, all those kind of things, which in all honesty, they are pain in the ass. They are very, 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 uh, you know, hard to crack for, you know, people. If you don't have the money, uh, the right project team, the right set of skills and the, the time, you know, to get things done uh, that way. All right. So data is stored in one lake is then directly accessible by all the computers, which I've talked about right here. Um, all these computes, the data factory, you can access their resting on that one lake without needing to move or copy your data. Single copy of the data, just one copy. One copy of the data is what you're using for all these activities, you know. Uh, and then let's talk about one important, you know, feature about this one lake, which is shortcut. You know, ability to create shortcut. And that's what, that's what makes it really magical for me uh, because shortcuts are embedded references within one lake. That it points to other files or storage locations and allow you to quickly source your existing cloud data without having it to copy it. So this is it. If you have your data stored on AWS or anywhere else, when you connect them to your you know, one lake and create a shortcut from it for a project, what that means is, that data is not moved to one lake, but you from one lake, you can directly, quickly, it integrates so fast that the data is accessible for you and you can use it right there. Easily accessible, very fast. Yeah, because of the direct lake, you know, um, um, you know technology that they, they infuse into this. So it's really awesome. One lake will ensure that you have 360 view of your data, like there's no duplicate. And that's another pain point that is being taken off. Your data is no longer duplicated. The same thing that Power BI is using is the same that other, you know, um, um, services right there, data scientists are using, um, you know, uh, but you have low level access control. You have a lot of security to also put who can work on this, who can do that. So that that's there. But this is really magical. I mean, all of a sudden, you can just go in and subscribe to Microsoft Fabric and then just, you just point and click. And that leads me to the other thing, which is the last thing right here. Uh, Fabric is also bringing the low code concept, the functionality and the approach, you know, that has successfully empowered many users on Power Platform. You know about Microsoft Power Platform is the low code, low code application development platform, solution development platform for Microsoft. And um, over the years, about five, six years now, is it has grown really, really massive. And a lot has been done in the workplace with this solution. And what led to its success is that it's easy for people to use. You know, it's local, it's familiar, it's friendly. And that's exactly what they are doing. For example, right here, uh, you know, you are working SQL with data, you want to do some joins, you know, you are creating your query. And while you are trying to create your join, you can see some visuals right here showing you exactly images, showing you the different type of join. You can use your query to write join, but at the same time, you can use a design dialogue to create the same join. Some people do not know how to write that query, but when you see the tables, you can tell exactly what you want to do by pointing and clicking. And these are the things that are, you know, that inside Microsoft Fabric to make it easier for you and I, who is not such an expert in, you know, doing all these things in the past, but want to learn it. So this easy step to start. So far, I have been able to share with you what challenge exists in the data space today, which is also opportunity. Data is abundant and that's opportunity for us to get value from data. However, 
to get the value, you must put the data in a structure, you know, in a place where you can be able and in a form where you can be able to do what you need to do with it. And putting it in that form is a lot of pain. You know, it requires huge budget, you know, um, time, a lot of time and, and other, you know, um, things that you cannot even control. Uh, and that might lead to even that project failing or not being successful uh, or losing value because you are not to the market on time. But Fabric simplified this by helping you to add in that integration pain point. And much more than just handling the integration pain point, now presenting to you easy to use solutions on a single platform uh, and easy to manage where every of your team can now collaborate and work more better closely together. And um, also integrating the local concept. And of course, the co pilot is coming to Micro Fabric, which means you know, you can have an assistant, you know, who is also intelligent and understand what you're trying to do and can help you do some of them, you know, when you give the prompt. That's really amazing. If you'd like to know more and grow your knowledge, you know, in Maxwell Fabric, which I believe is going to open up a lot of opportunity for data analysts, data scientists, data engineers, you know, and people in the data role, including data governance, you know, experts, uh, Fabric is going to make it possible now for each and everyone to work closer together than before, not in a different environment, in the same environment of Microsoft Power BI, which is the platform where Fabric um, exists. If you'd like to know more and build your skill days, I have this learning part, just one word per day, and in the next 10 days, you will be done with this and you can grow your skill. You can also check the link in the video description session to uh, our live session where we're doing end-to-end -end showcase of Microsoft Fabric. We're going to build a solution end-to-end -end using all the things you've learned in the learning part. I can't wait to have you take advantage of this new technology and be the best possible, you know, um, data professional in your feed. Thank you.